Hey, good ap afternoon, everyone. My name is Brian Coleman, and I'm the Director of Economic Development for the City of Columbia. And I would like to thank you all for coming out today to help us celebrate the grand reopening of Sweet G's Bakery, Sweet Gigi's Bakery in their new location here, and uh, to celebrate and support uh, Nayo and Devon Harbin in this new location. And um, I want to say uh, uh, real briefly before I introduce our speakers, you know, Nayo, it was a, it was a few months ago that you reached out to the mayor and then started talking with us. And, and it's been a pleasure um, to work with you as you went on this journey looking for the new location since you had to move off Fort Jackson. We're so excited that you found a place down here um, that works for, we, works for you here in the Five Points District and really excited uh, to have you here as part of the business community and as, uh, support y'all's business in your new location. So thank you very much. Um, with that, uh, I would like to uh, introduce our run of speakers real quick. First, we'll have Ms. Heather McDonald, uh, the Executive Director of the Five Points Association come up for some opening remarks, followed by Mayor Daniel Rickman for the City of Columbia. Uh, we will then uh, be uh, greeted by Dr. Uh, Reverend Dr. James A. Jamison, the Assistant Pastor for Brooklyn Baptist Church. Um, and then finally, uh, we will get to hear from Devon and Nio Harbin, the owners of Sweet Gigi's Bakery. Uh, with that, Heather. Oh. <laughs> Again, welcome everyone. Um, we are so happy that you are here. Um, also being a female owned business and I love your backstory um, with Sweet Gigi's being named after your two grandmothers. I think that's a very sweet story. Um, again, we're just happy to have you and we wish you many, many years of sweet success. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome everybody. Another exciting day in Columbia, South Carolina. Another business that's actually having a re grand opening but if you've been in here this space is absolutely gorgeous and if you walk out of here without at least six pieces of cake and a bag I'm gonna be very disappointed with you all uh, because I've already pre-bought uh, for my mission in there but excited to have the Harvins here downtown Columbia and being part of it and it's you know it's great to celebrate the Palmetto State is growing in women-owned businesses we're creeping up to be in the top five in the country for women-owned businesses and Columbia is trying to set the pace and so this is just really another great celebration but being part of, of a village community down here is so exciting we're so happy to have you and she promised me she promised me that the cinnamon rolls are coming back and when that happens we've we've hit the top of the market here but so excited but with that i'm going to invite the doctor reverend to, to give us a word uh, always would love to see them he did promise me too that this will not be a long service uh, this will be short sweet to the point so we can get to the food because uh, anybody who's been to Brooklyn Baptist knows that the next thing you know you look at your watch you've been there two and a half hours uh, but you feel satisfied when you leave so you will feel the same way when you leave here thank you sir. thank you ma'am good to see you sir good afternoon everybody they've got me on the clock on the timer so <laughs> Victor Hugo once says, there's nothing more powerful than an idea whose time has come. We're here because God has given Devon and Nio this idea. We're here because we have the power of God before us made living in flesh, an idea too big only to live in your mind and heart and dreams. You have elected to do a rare noble thing today. You have chosen to give this idea back to its originator. The creator, this is not just a good idea. You're embarking on a God idea, and God has given you this opportunity and made the resources available. I'd like to share one quick scripture. I promise I won't take a text. <laughs> And I hope you will read this scripture from time to time as you prepare and develop your business. Proverbs 16 and 3 says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. If you want your business to grow, embrace a new ethic of growth that is detached from the exploitative logic of contemporary business exit ethics 
If you want God to grow your new work, embrace the mandate to ground your work in a sense of cause. Remember the gift of collaboration. Operate with integrity and equity. Wrestle with ways to be creative and do that which God has put in your hands and your care. There will be moments, Nio and Devon, of optimism, moments of doubt, moments of success, moments of failure and dynamic growth, moments of stagnation in the life of this business. But you must learn from the lows and honor the highs. You must never rest on your laurels or become defeated by the lows. God will give you what we, you need to be successful in this business. So we dedicate this business, all the supplies and personnel to a life of love, honesty, and justice. Because this is no ordinary venture, but a venture birthed by God in the minds of Devon and Niall. Let us pray. We thank you for the strength, Heavenly Father, and talent you have given and provided for Nio and Devon to build their business. We know that business can come with many challenges and changes and obstacles, but they are dedicated to this business, to doing whatever it takes to ensure that your will will be done and they will find success in your eyes. They realize also that they need your help to succeed and we ask you now for your guidance, peace, and wisdom. We understand that you will be their salvation when things seem hopeless. So please guide them as they go through each step of building their business. Please make their business a success and protect them from any evil forces that may try to destroy it. We ask it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I think I still got six minutes left on the clock. You got as much time as you want. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I'm Nayo, the daughter, granddaughter of Geneva and Gertrude, and um, welcome to Sweet Gigi's Bakery for those who've never come. I just wanted to say that it has been a pleasure moving and relocating to this area. Um, we had to uproot suddenly and it was something that we talked about like should we even try to restart or just kind of just go back home and kind of fade off and um things just really started working out very nicely and even moving over here and meeting the other business owners and new customers and security and just everyone has been so um encouraging and supportive so we just really thank you for that um I did want to say that I noticed as I have been trying to acclimate our old customers and new ones to where we are, and I would give the address, I would say 631 B. Harden Street. We're on the block between Divine and Blossom. I kept saying between Divine and Blossom, between Divine and Blossom. And as those words kept repeating in my mind, I thought that was really um, confirming that this was a nicely timed move that we're between Divine and Blossom where we'll be able to grow. So. Thank y'all for being so welcoming to us. I'm Mr. Harbin, um, Niall's husband. Um, just thank you all for coming out, taking the time out of your day to join us here for this special occasion. I just want to tell a little story about our journey. Um, we started out at Fort Jackson Boulevard, and um, like she said, we was there for a year and got the news that the building was being sold. Um, we met with the, the business on, the new um, business owners and they let us know that um, we were not in their plans to, for the future and that we had to vacate. It was a very hard pill to swallow. Um, we had developed so many relationships over there, so many customers and so many um, familiar faces. Um, we didn't know what we was going to do, where we was going to go. Um, but God continued to give us confirmation on where we should go. Those customers, when we was over there and we let them know that we was having to move, they had told us that we don't care where you go, we will follow you wherever you go. And that was the confirmation. But when we moved and finally found a building, um, they kept calling, asking, when are y'all gonna open? When are we gonna open? <laughs> Texting and messaging, that was another confirmation. And when we opened these doors here in Five Points, 
those same customers that kept calling and kept texting and kept wondering what was going to open came through these doors here. And that was a confirmation that we, we need to keep going. So I say all that to say this. Thank you for the customers who've been with us since day one. Thank you for the future customers. And to God be the glory.